Yes. Jesus, uh, we read in the uh, Surah is a jar, the Surah Al Fatur, that uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was uh, uh, asked by Allah to say Astaghfar. Whereas, Istighfar. Whereas in uh, Sirat Mati, I have read the whole, all those uh, parts of Sirat Mati. And I know what you mean. Hazrat Mawri Shaili said now, was it. Uh, who said that I never heard this? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. I know what you mean. Please sit down. There is one tradition, one, one narration which I didn't like at all in, the, in that book. And when this was a, a, a selection was to be made in a brief form, I told the person who was involved in that not to include this. Because istighfar is something without which Hazrat Nasim could not live. It is impossible. But he might not have said istighfar loudly before others. So if somebody didn't hear it, however big that companion be, his lack of knowledge should not be quoted. Because it will create misunderstandings. So there are many other traditions, many other incidents in uh, that book, which have been uh, wrongly inputted. And Hazrat Mia Bashira Masai himself realized it, that it was a mistake to include all that. Why? Not because somebody wanted to suppress truth, but because a, a, a false impression was created, which was not true. So if you suppress an evidence, for the sake of suppressing truth, that is totally wrong. But if you suppress an evidence which is creating misunderstandings and exactly the opposite of truth <coughs> is the impression it leaves, then that must be suppressed. There is no reason why we should, you should say that. Mention it to people who would misconstrue things from later on. So those sorts of, that sort of uh, uh, I mean, the bayar, <coughs> traditions are used generally for a political person, so I am not using that. Narration. Narration uh, is, are uh, included in uh, Sira Tamadi. And Hazrat <coughs> Nishira Masai once gave me two or three volumes and said that I have marked then where I think uh, I shouldn't have included these things, they were meaningless, not only meaningless, but they were creating the wrong impressions, totally. So you also go through that and suggest which ones should be left untouched and which should be removed and uh, advise me generally on this. But after some time, uh, I returned those, I don't remember, um, the advice I surrender, I'll give to him, send it to him. But I return them to him, and now Mr. Majidan Sahib, his son, is working on this. And I told him, and I gave him the principles, that when you are preparing, you are reprinting a book, it is dishonest to leave things out. So don't make a reprint. You make an abridged form, and as such it should be published. And and in that abridged form, these are the principal guidelines for you to choose or to reject certain things for inquiry. Well, I'm glad that you read that in, with the uh, application of mind and uh, very acutely. No, uh, so, you know, I read that, uh, but uh, you know, uh, the commentary of, uh, after that was written that because he was a prophet of God, so, you know, he hasn't been saying it's the far so much as he has been saying. Totally so wrong, absolutely wrong. Ahazul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to recite his far so much, so often, that it was like food and water to him. So it's impossible, unbelievable, that Hazrat Nasim of the Rasulat Wasallam didn't stand in need of a spirit's far. Totally ridiculous. And I know in my heart, I have been brought up in that house, as a believer to see everybody was the, in the habit of saying this step by day and night. So how could it happen that Muslim of the Islam didn't do it? 
some people say istighfar loudly and Hazrat Masih Mawla said loudly only those prayers which he wanted to teach to others and it, it was so for granted and understood that he didn't have to do that so but for istighfar to conceive that Masih Mawla Islam didn't care or didn't have to do that that is totally a rejectable idea no sane man can accept it 